Gustave Doré is a French artist of the 19th century, born in Strasbourg in 1832, died in Paris in 1883. So he's an absolute contemporary of Edouard Manet, but that doesn't mean that he is an impressionist, not at all. He doesn't belong to any avant-garde movements or to any academic movements of his time. Fundamentally, he's independent. As a child of the 19th century, Gustave Doré is a paradoxical artist, working sometimes on a very small and miniature uh, uh, scale for vignettes and illustrations, and sometimes on monumental scale, for example, for his largest sculpture, the Métis a uh, four meter high bronze coming from San Francisco, an exceptional loan from the Fine Arts Museum of San Francisco. It's an artist who is sometimes hedonist and sometimes depressive. He's interested in the most various theme of his time, like landscape. He participated in a significant way on the renewal of religious art. Also, of course, he is interested in caricature and illustrations of uh, literature of his time and back to the 14th century, well, Dante, for example. Some of our visitors will expect to see in a Gustave Doré retrospective mostly illustrations and drawing. And of course, Gustave Doré is a major illustrator. That is not only that, that's maybe one third of his work. And the purpose of this first retrospective after 30 years and the first retrospective here in uh, the North American uh, continent is to remind uh, the, the people that Doré is also a major painter and a major sculptor. Doré is part of uh, the heritage, visual heritage of the 19th century, but even if he didn't have a direct influence on other artists in the early 20th uh, century, he had a tremendous influence on comic strips and on movies. And this will be also, of course, evident in the exhibition because at, there will be free opportunities during uh, the exhibition to look at uh, uh, movies, at excerpts of movies, where origin, in a very evident way, artists like Terry Gilliams looked at uh, Doré. Thank <laughs> you.